Hi there. So we're going to do a couple of projects using a micro servo today to make stuff move. So um, we're going to kind of get it to move like a, a moving arm, I guess. So it moves an object just backwards and forwards. And also we're going to try and put it into a little uh, creation here, which is like a little inchworm that in theory can kind of walk, sort of. Um, so we'll have a look at that one as well using the servo. So what we're going to use for this, obviously you don't need to have all of this kit. Um, you can just do this straight off a micro bit and a servo, but you're going to be connecting to the pins um, on here using um, crocodile clip wires, which uh, is not as straightforward. So we're going to use the kit that has the basic bit board on the back. Um, the advantage being that we can just very easily um, attach on the servo onto that point. So um, let me move some of this slot over. Okay, so what we've got um, in the little servo bag is that we've got this little micro servo. Now these are really good, this one, because it's, it works quite happily on three volts. Um, most of these only work on five volts, so they will kind of work with your micro bit battery pack, but as the batteries run down, they won't work very well. Um, so we can simply just attach that one to the board, um, making sure that we get the colors the right way round. So the brown wire goes to ground, the red wire goes to the V, um, and the yellow wire, orangey wire, which is the signal, that goes to the zero, because that's pin zero up here. Um, okay, so that's attached. I'm just gonna put an arm on this just so we can see it move a little better. Okay. And now let's go over to the computer and we will have a look at the code for making this servo move. All right, so we're gonna start a new project. I will just call this one, I'll just call it servo for now. And um, what we're gonna need on this then, let's set this so that it works with an on and an off. So we're gonna use the button A and button B just here to be able to uh, switch this on and off. And all we're gonna have it do, well, actually before we do that, we need to go to advanced and down to extensions and add the servo extension. If you can't see it here, just search for it at the top. But we will add that. And then the kind of servo we're using here is a positional servo. It's not a continuous one that spins round and round and round. This one goes to an angle. So we're gonna set it uh, to zero first, then we're going to pause for 500 milliseconds, that's half a second, and then I'm going to duplicate this one. We're then going to set it to 180 degrees, and then we would pause again. Uh, the reason I needed to put the pause there, this isn't a loop, but if someone keeps spamming the A button, I don't want it to sort of interrupt that and go to that one. So we'll give it that pause so it does its full motion. Um, and actually, no, change of plan. Change of plan, let's make a variable called go. The reason I'm doing this, um, let me explain what we're doing here. So what I'm gonna do instead I do actually want this to run continually. That's what I'm thinking about this, thinking, yeah, I want it to keep going. So what I'm gonna do instead, actually wrong way around. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna make a variable called go. And what's gonna happen is when we press button A, it's gonna change go to one. So that's like switching on go. And then when we press button B, it changes go to zero. So we're gonna put the whole lot inside a forever and then we're going to say if uh, let's grab some more if go uh, where are we if go equals one 
then I want it to be doing this. So if someone's pressed button A, go equals one, so it's going to be keeping doing this. It's in a forever loop, so it's going to keep moving and going backwards and forwards. If button B is pressed, then it's going to stop, so it's going to change that. So do I need to put a stop in here? I don't think we do. Let's just have it go back, though. If we press B to stop, Actually, no, I don't think we're going to need anything. Let's have a go on the simulator and see if this works. So it goes around there, press A. Okay, so it's going backwards and forwards. If I press B, stops. Good, let's just tie that again. Press B, good, that works. Okay, so, sorry, it was the not quite what I was started doing, but uh, I think that works better to have a, a switch like that and it runs continuously. So we're going to connect this to the micro bit now. Okay, and we're just going to make sure it's paired. And then we're going to click download. All right, so we can see on the micro bit here that it is flashing now on the back. So it's copying the code over. Okay, and then let's test this out. So let's press button A. And B. And that works great, so that then stops. Now, what we can do then, we're going to attach this um, just to a little arm first, so we can see that um, going on there. So what I will do, just using this card here, just going to cut out um, the shape of an arm. I've got a pencil as well. Much better. Okay. Okay, so we're going to attach this now onto the servo. Now these do come with little screws to put through onto these um, if we needed to, um, which we could note that way. I'm just going to just put a dab of hot glue just on here for now, but um, you can do it nicely. Oops. Okay, now if we are using hot glue for this, must be really careful not to get any uh, onto the actual moving gear piece because uh, then it won't move anymore. So this one, going to take a battery pack now and place that in here. Make sure our batteries are on. These are nice fresh batteries, so they should move quite well. Okay, and that's working pretty good um, just on the battery pack now and able to power that one. Okay, so what we're now going to do is to take this same program, we're going to turn this into one of these little inchworm uh, crawly creatures, and we'll see if we can get it to move. That seems to be the biggest challenge, is actually getting it to crawl along the ground. Um, but we will see how that goes. So, to do this, I'm going to take off the arm for now. That's why you should use the screws and not the heart glue. Okay, so for this one, what we're going to need, just a piece of cardboard, take one of these, and let's just take a piece about that wide, okay, now we're going to fold this once in the middle, hopefully closer to the centre than that, and then also, just out at each end a little bit. It kind of stands like that a little bit. On one end, we're going to just feather it and just fold one forward, one backwards on each of these. Okay, so we've got one piece there. Then it recommends for the front to fold on the tutorial I saw anyway, it recommended folding the front like this. I've actually found adding a little bit of glue gun glue under here just to give better grip. Um, 
seems to work a little better, but we'll see how this one goes. So um, what we're going to need then, we're going to need a few things. Uh, we're going to attach the micro bit onto here. Um, again, recommend you use tape to do this. Um, I will go against my recommendations and just put a blob of glue on the bottom carefully. I only do this knowing the bits that will easily peel off. So don't do this with your own if you're not sure. You can get it off again afterwards. Okay. Then the servo is going to go on the back somewhere over here and then it's going to pull a little wire between these two pieces here um, to make it go backwards. Okay, just attach this one on. Okay, now we've got a small piece of wire here, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to punch a little hole just here. Just bend it around there. Okay, and then we're going to work out then where the servo moves to when we do this, so we can make sure we're in the right place. Okay, so that looks okay just there. Now I'm just going to snip this wire. Fasten down the glue gun, uh, fasten down the battery pack. So as you can see, they're kind of working. They're not exactly going the fastest. But one of the things you can do then is to experiment with the way that they're gripping the ground. So you could add some, oops, oh dear. You could add some glue to try and give a bit more grip in place, maybe around the front, uh, just on the ground. And try this out, see if it goes any better. Yeah, you could probably do with a bit more grip stuff. But you get the idea, and they're quite interesting if you can actually get them moving um, well. Try them on a smoother surface. Oh yeah, he's going. Yeah, when he grips at the front, he moves. So. All right. I will stop them there. Um, so I hope you've learned a little something about using the servos, um, some of the challenges, I guess, as well as uh, some of the things that you can do with it. But with positional servos, if you want something that's going to move, um, obviously you can, you can do it this way. You can change the angles, you can change the pause and the delay between them um, to make models quite simply that are going to have moving parts on them that can be repeated uh, over and over again. So I hope that was helpful.